Hello guys, my name is Rodolfo Lustre and welcome to my vlog. Today we're going to talk about the 3D design principles. As discussed in 3D design principles which have been given by our lecture, I believe. There are so many principles to choose from, therefore, I will be breaking down some principles. So first we have form and content. As one of the principles, form is a pure visual aspect. Well, content implies the subject matter, story, or information the designer seeks to communicate to the viewer. Form is something we see in a visual, like lines, curves, shape, and dimension. While content is more story aspects, what is written and information. Well, you could tell, you could see the difference since visual is more like. What you see, you feel, the form, like this thing, while content is just written, it's just more like information, like you're trying to, to read on it. Okay. The next one is visual communication. So visual communication has three stages. The first one, which is composition, which is focused more on designs, nurse intent. Next is seeing, which is audience's context, and last, which is meaning, which is interpretation and understanding. This is how visual communication, in which is an interpretative act, requiring effort on the part of the viewer. However, usually call it visual context when it comes to create meaning. Next, we have haptic or touch, which is a form of nonverbal communication involved touch of the experience of touch. It really plays an important role in experiencing the 3D world, which we're talking about 3D design. Then we have learned to see, and which is the ability to see, to recognize, and understand the environmental and emotional force visually since it is a word but it's also a principle it's like what you see next we have context in which how we view the world affects what we see and we all view it differently there are three types psychological cultural environmental psychological is more like emotions or deep thinking cultural is like more like your culture stuff Environment is like nature, the environment. Next, we are going to focus on form. Form can be a geometry, culture, and nature as long as it's visual and you can see and know what it looks like since it is form. Like you're trying to feel it, know what it looks like. In form, you usually visualize whether, which is representation, abstract and symbolic. Form is also a design element and it is the characteristic in the following curvilinear, geometric, concave, convex, static, and dynamic. The example with form is Richard Serra's sequence aka the steel curves that looks like a number 8. Form also follows it is made from weatherproof steel. He tries to visualize sequence through circles and curves. And the thing I like, I like about it is like, he's trying to give m meaning through form, like the curves, showing some structure. Form also follow function, which is a principle associated with modern architecture and industry design. Form has mass, time, line, plane, Texture, color, and motion. Good example of form, one of them is line, which is Alexander's color soap. It is a war, but it's frozen line, but it's still 3D. He only uses wires and managed to create a form of a pig. I like how he creates a pig using wires. Lastly, Joachim Sauter's kinetic sculpture BMW. It is an installation I like how it focuses on motion and time, creating a curve or a line over kinetic ball and wire and even create into a form of a car. Form has various ways 
and it's very important in design, especially to your 3D. But if you check the BMW one by George and Sutter, you could see like it can form to anything like a blanket and the car in just a kinetic one. So that's all, folks, and thank you for watching. Here you go. And adios.